is quite common for us to know that we have this intrinsic connection with every human person on earth. Whether we are believer or not, all the more if we are Christians, then we recognize our dignity, our calling to be able to share the pain and the loss of common humanity. When I was at the camp and talking to the refugees, I met this boy. Along the way, he stepped on a landmine. He lost his leg. His brother carried him all the way to Bangladesh. These stories, these people have all gone through such traumatic experiences. Our common humanity is created by God. Every human person, every man, every woman, every child is created by God out of love. And therefore, if everyone suffers, we also will feel the pain. And so I think it was a show of human solidarity. From then on, that is really the spirit that drives to there to become instruments of God's love and to give hope to those who might find life burdensome. I admire their indomitable human spirits. The fact that they continue to live life, the fact that they had hope, otherwise they wouldn't even bother to come and talk to us. Amidst all this, it is not all doom and gloom. And very often the message when you leave, they always come to see you off. They will wave to you, they will hug you, some even cry. And the words and the message they always say is, please don't forget this. One of the things that we ask them, uh, what actually do you need? We need to develop confidence. We need hope. We just have to be aware of where they are. I think that's another very important aspect of mission, getting to know the real needs of the people. There is nothing that should stop us from wanting to do more and to share God's gifts, God's blessings with others. CARI stands for the Caritas Humanitarian Relief Initiative of Singapore. So we'll be looking at situations where we respond to the disaster relief, to post-construction of disasters, to also look at how we can follow up with missions. Every Christian is called to be of service to the whole world. Pope Francis said that it takes only an individual to make hope happen, and that individual can be you. Despite the fact that the problem is so large and sometimes we get overwhelmed by the magnitude of it and we feel helpless. But I think that as long as we believe that an individual can make a difference, then collectively we can make lives more livable for our brothers and sisters.